Good evening. It is Friday night and this is Kathy Beatty coming into your life to help give you tools and techniques going through the process of divorce. I don't know where you're at in this process, but if you're at the beginning, actually through the whole thing, but especially in the very beginning, it's really scary. Let me read to you an email that I actually just got oh, a few minutes ago. I received my first lawyer's invoice and went into sheer panic. I have downloaded and printed your attachment on mediation. <sighs> this is a time that many people do panic, but I want to assure you that you are going to get through this. And I'm gonna give you possibly some help tonight that will help you. Good evening. Hey, Stephanie. Um, it's good to, good to see you as always and good to have you here. I have a dog who really has a squeaky toy right now and wants to play desperately. So I have put him outside of my office. You're going to hear him scratch because he really wants to play. So sorry about that. So that's enough to throw me, but I'm not going to let it because tonight's topic is very, very important. I always say that, don't I? Because I always cover important topics. Before I jump into the topic tonight, I want to share with you that uh, we do have a support group that has started July 11th. We held one meeting, but there is room. In fact, I'm having two new people that are joining us, so there's still room for you if you care to come into a supportive, non-judgmental place where you can uh, get the support and the help that you need. So contact me. I'll get you a registration form. We meet for 10 weeks. Now it'll be nine weeks, but it is well worth the minimal investment because you're going to be with people who understand and get what it is that you are going through. So the topic tonight is you're codependent and you're going through divorce. Wow. That's a scenario that really needs some specific attention, which I want to give to that to you tonight on that. So codependency, it may be a term that you have heard. Uh, maybe you even know that you are codependent or your spouse has been codependent. Well, I want to explain to you, first of all, what is the definition of codependency or signs of it, definition, however you want to term it. You're unable to set boundaries in relationships is really a huge sign of being codependent. You have very low self-esteem. You are ignoring your needs and you're putting the other person's first. You are addicted to a relationship and you accept abuse and you cannot leave because you are addicted to this relationship. The bind that you have with this individual is not a healthy one. It is a dependent one. And there's a really big difference in having a healthy relationship and then a dependent and codependent one. It's like your life depends on the other person being happy. And part of that is good and beautiful, right? In a healthy relationship. But when it becomes unhealthy and unbalanced, then you have an issue. And now if you are going through a divorce, you are really going to have to have some specific and some helpful support because divorce evokes displeasure. No one is happy going through divorce, no one. And you as a codependent may not be used to having your partner so unhappy because here's what's going to happen. You have to shift your mindset to understand that he or she is going to be angry at you, furious, vile, 
lashing out and more. And you as a codependent who have lived your entire relationship trying to keep everything calm and balanced is going to go into a sheer panic and not know what to do. So I want to help you a little bit today with this. If this is your situation, you really need more help than what I'm going to give you in 10 minutes. You really do need to seek out a counselor because you're going to need some extra handholding through this because you're going to run in thing, into things that are just going to knock you off your feet because you're going to have this person who is your spouse be so angry with you. And they are going to start attacking you and belittling you and putting you down, not in all cases, but in many, but especially if there's been some codependency because they are used to manipulating you. And so now they're going to pull out the big guns and they're going to do everything they can to get their way, maybe to get you to come back into the marriage, maybe to um, get you to give up in going in mediation and uh, giving them everything or the majority or everything that they, the other person wants. So you really do have to shift your mindset. How do you do that? I mean, you have lived this pattern for 20 years, 10 years, five years, a long time. As long as you have been married, you've been living this pattern. So how do you shift your mindset? Well, for one, you have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Yep. Yeah. You're not going to be comfortable. The other person is not going to be comfortable. There is nothing comfortable about going through a divorce. So you have to understand, I'm going to be un uncomfortable here. This is going to disrupt everything. And I cannot listen and take care of that person anymore. We talk about this a lot in group uh, because there is this mental shift that we have to make because we have been so intimate with this person and now this person isn't safe or trustworthy. And quite frankly, I don't care how amicable your divorce is. You cannot fully trust that other person. You have to have that legal document and that legal backing. So get comfortable with being uncomfortable. And this is going to create a conflict within your soul. It just is. Because again, you've been living this life for so long, so dependent, so calming the waters, walking on eggshells, making sure that other person is happy. And now that other person is not happy and you cannot fix it. And this creates this dissension, this dissonance, within your soul. Understand that is part of this process. It's also part of you decoupling, uncoupling with this person. So get used to being uncomfortable and realize that this conflict within your soul is just because you have been in an unhealthy relationship and you have been codependent and your whole world, whether you were happy, sad, um, pleased, content, or whatever, you may have put that on another person. Well, this is the time for you to step back and become your own person. To let go of that unhealthy relationship and understand and admit there is a conflict. There's a war going on within me because I have never lived this way before. I have always put that person in high regard and in high consideration. And now they're angry. They're really angry with me. Get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Understand this is going to create a conflict within your soul. And understand, and I, I touched on this earlier, you have been unhealthy in this past relationship and you need to heal. And part of that tearing away from that relationship is that, um, that conflict, that cognitive dissonance that's within you. But it's just revealing 
revealing the unhealthiness of the relationship. You have to make yourself count. And some of you don't know how to do that, especially if you have been in a codependent relationship. For once, as of now, as of this moment, you have to make yourself count. That other person is not the most important person in this relationship. You are equally important. And that seriously may take some coaching, some counseling to get you there, for you to be able to stand up and know that someone's going to be angry with you and stand up anyway against what is going on. You have to make yourself count. And maybe you need to take lessons in standing up for yourself. We talk about this in the decisions portion of my group. And I always ask the question, how good are you at standing up for yourself? There's usually a real quiet in the room when people think about it, uh, usually. Uh, there are some who say, oh, I always stand up for myself. Well, they may have you know, a profession that requires that they always are um, standing up for themselves and um, maybe in high conflict in their job. And so they know they've been trained how to do that. But maybe you don't. I know most people in my groups don't. Like I said, there's this hush and quiet. So maybe you need to take lessons in standing up for yourself. How do you do that? Maybe you do that with a coach. Maybe you do that with a counselor. I don't know who you do that with, but you've got to start somewhere. This is a great reminder for all of us. Thank you. It is. It's, it's a great reminder for me. It's a great reminder for all of us because we, when we care for someone, we really, you know, we start sacrificing and that's love. That's a relationship. That's certainly a marriage. But when it's become unhealthy and you are the only the giver, then there's something unhealthy about that. And you need to take lessons. We're going to do that life coaching. Maybe first of all, you're going to admit, I'm not good at standing up for myself. I need help in, in doing that. I need help in getting sassy and feisty. So important, especially going through this divorce process. Put yourself in the equation. Put yourself in the equation. In mediation, we are dividing assets. And many of you can so easily put yourself in the other person's shoes and don't know how to put yourself in the equation. You have to, especially now. I hope you have a good attorney or someone who is beside you and working with you and allowing you to stand up for yourself and putting yourself in the equation. Uh, I know of one um, attorney in particular who um, his client came to me and she said, I was willing just to give it up. But he said, you are not giving this all up. And so she had to learn through another person how to put herself in the equation. Well, who can free you? Who can free you from this, from this unhealthy condition? Well, it's going to take intention. It's going to take you, first of all, identifying that you are codependent, that you un are unhealthy in this relationship, and you need help. Because when you start with those three things, then you can begin to move forward and seek out the help that you need and work on your own healing. So very important. Because you know what's going to happen if you don't. I'll tell you, because I've seen it many, many times. You are going to go through this divorce. You're going to get the other side of this divorce. You're going to go into the next relationship. And that relationship is going to be the same thing your first one was. And you're going to become, you're going to step in that place of that codependency again. You have got to get healed from this. I love Dr. Henry Cloud, and he wrote a book called Necessary Endings. In fact, he's promoting right now a webinar in that, which I would highly recommend. Um, one of the phrases in that book, Necessary Endings, was he was dealing with this one woman. And, and I've quoted this many times. You may have even heard me quote it, but it is so good. 
So he's working with this one woman and she said, Dr. Cloud, I know I live in hell, but at least I know where the street signs are. Wow. Wow. To see how we can be so entrenched in this way of thinking and living that we don't want to or know how to free ourselves. It's much easier just to fall back into that routine. And I guarantee you, you will, if you are not intentionally working on your healing. Who can free us? Christ can free us. Galatians 5.1, for freedom, Christ has set us free. Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. Stand firm. Christ has set us free. God wants us free. He wants us in healthy relationships. He does not want one partner to be this high and the other one to be this high. There is an equality that God has created in marriage of a man and a woman united. So don't submit again to the yoke of slavery. Hi, Cynthia, North Carolina. Hey, I wonder if it's as warm down there as it is up here because it's, it's warm up here in Michigan. So Christ wants us free, always wants us free, always wants us dealing in the truth. Galatians 6.5, for each will have to bear his own load. Some of you are having to learn this through the divorce process. Some of you are having your spouse have to learn this through this process. That I'm no longer going to rescue you. In fact, I'm going to begin rescuing myself for once. Codependency can be insidious. It can be so unhealthy. It is a way that God does not want us to live. He knows the beauty and the creativity of healthy relationships. He also understands the pain of unhealthy relationships and the breaking of relationships. That's why he longs to comfort you, to direct you, and to give you hope. I long that for you as well. Do not let the pain of divorce be wasted. Use this pain when everything is all disrupted and in chaos to really work on your own healing and discovering who you are, what you want of life after this. Learn the truth if you are codependent and then learn ways in which you can move forward in your healing. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, Cynthia says it's very hot in North Carolina. I bet it is. Um, so um, I hope you're all staying cool in this uh, warm weather. And uh, please let me know if I can be of help. If you get um, your first attorney bill and you are going into sheer panic, let's talk. There may be ways in which I can help you with that. One of them being, whoops, where is it? I know I'm going along here. Um, where's my workbook? Where's my workbook? There it is. Seeing your attorney for the first time. Very, very important. Workbook, free download. Helps you get prepared so that you are not in sheer panic like my friend here is uh, receiving her first attorney bill. All right. Um, have a good night. And um, I can't remember how to get this out of here. Let me take it off. Well, maybe I won't. Oh, good grief. Remove. There it is. Okay. <laughs> it's been a while. I technical challenges a lot lately. All right. With that, uh, take care of you. And let me know if I can be of help. And thank you for joining me tonight. Thank you for those uh, faithful listeners. And thanks, Stephanie, for jumping in, a life coach yourself. Uh, so 
Thanks for being here. And we'll catch up with you next time on Divorce Support Anonymous. This is Kathy Beatty walking with you every step of the way through the trauma and after the trauma of divorce. Have a good evening.